All right, so now we're gonna assess uh, manual muscle testing for finger flexion, specifically the PIP and DIP joints. This will be assessing the flexor digitorum superficialis, which will be for the PIP joint, and flexor digitorum profundus, which will be for the DIP joint. Uh, this can be applied for digits uh, two through five. I'm gonna just demonstrate on digit uh, three, but just know that this can be uh, applied to all of them. So I'll isolate the third digit here. Uh, if she can just go ahead and bend her PIP through full range of motion against gravity, we can give that a grade of three. Go ahead and bend there for me. So if I can provide strong resistance and she can tolerate that, that would be a grade five. Moderate resistance in this position would be a grade four. Grade three, like I said earlier, would hurt just being able to move against gravity right there. So go ahead and go again. Great, that'd be a grade three. For a grade two, we have to move into the gravity eliminated position. If she can uh, flex her PAP joint in this position, that would be a grade two. For a grade one, you might be able to feel uh, muscle activity or tendon activity uh, at the wrist or maybe a little bit more distally or if she can go through a partial range of motion that would be a, a grade one. These can also be uh, applied for the uh, the DIP joint. It, the position is basically the same for all. I'm going to try to stabilize the middle phalanx. If she can flex the DIP joint through full range against gravity I would give that a grade three. If she can flex and then tolerate strong resistance, so go ahead and flex. And if I can provide some strong resistance, she can tolerate that, that would be a grade five. Good, moderate resistance would be a grade four. A three is for moving through the range of motion. A grade two, again, is in the gravity minimized position, so move through range of motion there. Full range would be a grade two. And then similar for a grade one, you might be able to feel muscle activity or just moving through a partial range of motion at the DIP joint.